Apparently. Thanks so much for joining us here on City of Bay at 6. I'm Ryan Bass. And I'm Carolina Lead. More than 1,000 manatees have died this year in the state of Florida. It is record-breaking, and we still have a month and a half left in this year. Our Malik Rankin spoke with experts who are seeing more injured sea cows, too. Zoo Tampa is one of just four manatee critical care centers in the U.S. It's awful. Um, you know, we, we see them come in in terrible states. Um, from boat strikes to being very thin, I mean, all kinds of things, red tide. Tiffany Burns is the zoo's director of conservation. She tells me her team has been caring for 18 to 24 manatees at a time for most of this year. Which is pretty high for us. We're usually around 10 to 12 on average. Manatees are a staple of Florida, many getting the chance to see them up close and personal at Tico's recently reopened Manatee Viewing Center. I love them. I, I would I wanted to go snorkeling or diving with them, and I think that's going to be my next trip. If you feel the number of manatee deaths look bleak now, conservation experts are worried for the months ahead, the colder months being the deadliest. Burns says last year we saw the most manatee deaths during the winter season. I mean, it's really disheartening to know that the numbers are just going to continue to increase and that we may not be able to help them all. It's mind blowing actually because I, I don't understand the, the all the reasonings that they're dying from um, other than uh, maybe boating accidents oh, and yeah, maybe um, uh, starvation. starvation. Is that right? Wow. Zoo Tampa wants to see manatees reclassified from threatened to endangered, not only to raise awareness, but to get access to more resources to help them. By classifying them differently, it definitely changes funding for programs like ours. Zoo Tampa isn't the only place trying to help manatees. Over in Pinellas County, Clearwater Marine Aquarium is taking steps to expand the care it offers them. Now, earlier next year, early next year, CMA will break ground on a rehab center in its Fred Howard Park location. And in the next two to three years, CMA will complete a $10 million project to renovate Winter the Dolphin's previous home. The two projects will create an additional 12 beds for manatees in need of care.